This is Michael, and he's at Highland Hill Farm, and he's going to tell you about trimming spruce trees in late December. Excellent. Well, this is late December, so we're brewing our trees. And this is a Norway spruce. We haven't touched it at all. It uh, needs a little bit of work so that we have a nice high-grade tree that we can sell. So the first thing we're going to do is you can notice that the top has two liters. And two liters is never good. We always want to have one liter. So we're going to go up, and we're going to prune just like that. Now that's how I do it. There's many other people that do it different ways, but I like it this way because if a bird comes over like a hawk or an eagle lands on this, the, it will break this off. So I always like having a second or a third candle available so if one of them does break off, you still have something else for another main leader to come in. And it's easier to fix them. But I like it that this one's much higher than the other, so it's a dominant leader. No, There's no question of which one's going to be bigger or stronger. After we have our initial cut on it, then I go down at an angle and I just try to shape the tree so it looks like a Christmas tree. And uh, I divide the tree into three, three groups. The first group is here, second group is here, and the third group is the bottom. So group, uh, group one, group two, group three. The group one is at the top and every shoot at the top gets pruned. Because if you don't, they can all become leaders. And we do not want co-dominant leaders or uh, odd-looking shaped branching to it. The middle group, group two, is a group where you go through and you just prune it if it's out of shape. You're just shaping it back into it because you don't need to do that much to it. A lot of times it's fairly easy. This one's super easy for us. So it's not that much, it's out of shape, right? It's pretty much in shape. Then the last group is the bottom group. And the bottom group is only touch if there's a problem. So if you can, you just let that bottom third go. And we'll just go through maybe one or two of them that might be too far out that I don't like. But other than that, that's all that you need to do. The reason you don't touch the bottom real hard is that the tree wants to grow at the top. It doesn't really, it, the middle is it's not as important, but at the bottom, the tree, evolutionarily speaking, doesn't want to really put a lot of growth down there. So if you go in and you go in real hard and you cut it real hard at the base, it'll take years and years and years for that base to come back because the tree is trying to emphasize new growth upwards to get light. It's trying to emphasize growth to get up to the canopy. It's evolved to spring up to get to the canopy and once it gets up to the canopy then it'll fill out. So we don't want that. We want the branches right to the ground. We want to develop something like these guys over here with real heavy bases on the bottom. And that heavy base, when these branches get real heavy, they start to weep down a little bit. And I call that the curtain of the tree. And the curtain, you'll have to see a real long branch and have a bow to it. And that bow going up is the, the branch trying to grow up. But there's so much weight to that branch with all the foliage that the weight starts to pull the branch down and then next year's growth goes up again and then the weight pulls it back down so you get this real nice arc on the branch and that foliage droops down and that's called the curtain the curtain if you cut the curtain on a tree it can redevelop but it can take an awful long period of time that's why i always tell my guys you don't cut the bottom unless it actually has to be cut but the top should always have a single leader to it for example, this one here had a damage where the branch got damaged here, but we have a single one right there that's going to grow up and, and uh, be its new, new leader. Now this one over here, there's another one over here. This one here needs a little bit of work. As you can see, there's two leaders to it. And we don't really want that. That was, a, that was probably a mishap on us. So you really should just have one leader. And this one here, we're not going to touch. Because I really want that one to grow and be the, the dominant leader that, of that tree. We want one trunk to those trees. That's what we're really shooting for. So if you have any other questions, that's my real quick breakdown on it. We, uh, we trim thousands of trees every year. We trim Norway spruces for a number of months in our tree season. This is what we do. We have a lot of them. If you're interested in any of our trees or have any questions, Feel free to contact us at Highland Hill Farm or you can drive in and see our trees on Route 313 in Fountainville, Pennsylvania.